So what I'm going to demonstrate today is how we work. It's a shared electronic health record, one view, so you don't have to explain the history all the time. A single shared electronic health record, a patient and doctor in, in the centre, uh, polar medicine experts coordinating and making things happen with my uh, doctor down at Mawson Station, at one of our most isolated stations, uh, Dr Jan Wallace. And if we can bring up the link to uh, Antarctica and Jan will do a simulation. Over to you, Jan. My name's Jan Wallace and I'm the doctor here at Mawson Station. I'm here with 14 other expeditioners and we're six weeks into our winter season and we'll, we'll be totally isolated here until November. Today we're going to uh, play out a scenario and demonstrate some of our digital health capabilities. Today uh, I have our ex expedition mechanic Tom here playing our patient. Uh, in this scenario Tom has been outside, slipped and fallen and hit his head and face. And I've already conducted a preliminary examination. I've done some x-rays and taken some blood samples. And all of this has already been uploaded into the digital health record uh, where Dr. Aiton and his team back in Australia can view all that clinical information. So now I'm going to change to my camera glasses. The view will change. And we'll come and see our patient, Tom. Hi there, Tom. Okay. How are you feeling at the moment? I can see, yes, you've got a nasty gash there. I think you'll need some stitches for that. So I'm just going to have a, a little check over again of your head. Is that okay? Okay, no problem. Okay. How's that feeling up here? It's okay up there. Right. And here? Not too bad. It's Not okay. Too bad. You've got quite a gash there on your forehead. I'm going to need to fix that up with some stitches later. Okay. How are you feeling here? Well, a bit sore on the left hand side. Is it? Okay. Just open your mouth for me. Okay. I can see a bit of blood in there. So Tom, I'm going to have um, a better look inside your mouth. Is that alright? Okay. So I'll get you to come and sit on the dental chair for me and I'll uh, use my oral camera and we'll have a look inside your mouth. Okay. Sure. No problem. Here we go. That's the way. So now I'm going to take my intraoral camera and change views and examine the patient's mouth in more detail. Okay, Tom. So just open up wide for me. That's the way. So I can use this camera to examine the teeth in much greater detail. And I'm also able to take clinical photographs. I can take as many as I wish. There we go. So now I can use the uh, Telehealth Hub and I can view my digital photographs that I've taken, scroll through them, and uh, select the ones that I want to keep. So to do that, I create a session for my patient. We've got one already existing made up. And the procedure I've conducted today is a dental examination. And I've saved that session. So I can return to my patient's file here and I can see previous sessions that have been done. And here's uh, some that the same photographs that I've taken today. These will automatically sync back to Australia where they can be viewed by Dr. Aiden and his team and they'll be present in the patient's electronic health record. Thank you very much. Back to Dr. Aiden. Thanks, Jane. And it's amazing that so that's it. very simple telehealth demonstrated. There are the images in the health record that um, Jan, as you saw Jan take a few, uh, yeah, a minute ago. So they've come across huge satellite distances, so applicable in any island situation or remote medicine or rural remote. So anyone can see that. It's not just on the machine down in Antarctica. This is embedded in their shared electronic health record. And that could be video, it could be a live stethoscope feed, or it could be uh, any type of camera or USB device that is plugged into that 
that device. That device has recently been put on sale in Australia, and it's an Australian-made uh, product, the Pro EX. I think that's pretty amazing over in it where a satellite is in, in the equator and we're dealing with someone who's on the bottom of the earth some 5,000 kilometres from Hobart.